Hello, everyone. I'm Yu Kunshi from Funan University. Today, I'm honored to have the opportunity to present our latest work, RecurScan, a novel approach for detecting recurring vulnerabilities in PHP web applications. Over the past decade, PHP has become the most popular choice for website development. Globally, over 79% of online websites are developed using PHP, including many well-known companies such as Facebook, Spotify, and Slack. However, the vast use base of web PHP web applications also attracts a large number of cyber attacks. Uh, according to reports, a web application attack occurs every 39 seconds. It is projected that by 2025, the damages caused by web attacks will reach 10.5 trillion US dollars. Web attacks mainly stem from exploiting web vulnerabilities, particularly those of a recurring nature. On one hand, developers often lack security knowledge, which makes them prone to making similar code mistakes. On the other hand, developers copy and paste programming habits, lead to the propagation of vulnerable code across different applications. Therefore, many static techniques have been proposed to detect such vulnerabilities. However, it's clear that the approach centered around tent analysis requires more human efforts. This technique requires security experts to analyze vulnerability features and carefully design detection patterns for each type of vulnerability. This process is prone to errors and may cause false positives. In contrast, recurring vulnerability detection has some advantages in this regard. It only needs to ex extract the signatures from known vulnerabilities and then match these signatures in the target application. This is no need for manual design of detection patterns, making it more efficient and precise. However, in the field of recurring vulnerability detection, we have found that only a few techniques can be applied to PHP web applications. Hidden CPG is the one that most align with our scope, which recasts the recurring vulnerability detection problem into a subgraph matching problem. However, strict subgraph matching may make hidden CPG difficult to tolerate minor code difference, leading to many false negatives in vulnerability detection. Therefore, the challenge lies in how to tolerate the, co the code difference in data flow and the control flow between the target code and the known vulnerable code during detection. On one hand, the approach needed to tolerate different implementations of the same data flow. On the other hand, the approach needed to be unaffected by vulnerability irrelevant control flow statements. In light of this, we propose the record scan takes security patches as input and generate known vulnerability signatures from two experts. For pre-patch version, RecordScan performs the data flow symbolic tracking on vulnerable code to generate vulnerable expressions. For, for post-patch version, RecordScan extracts the control flow constraints newly introduced by the patch, takes them as safe control constraints. During recurring vulnerability detection, RecordScan only needs to determine whether there is a highly similar vulnerable data flow expression on the target application. If they are not protected by any safe control flow constraints, RecordScan will report a vulnerability. Next, we will show how RecordScan detects vulnerabilities using a real-world example. <coughs> this page shows a security patch for a real vulnerability in OpenEMR. Due to improper checks on user-controlled file names, an attacker can achieve arbitrary file reading by carefully constructing a payload. Now, RecordScan will treat this vulnerability as known vulnerability to detect the recurring vulnerabilities in the target application. In the first phase, RecordScan will locate the source and the sinks of the known vulnerability by an analyzing the patch and removes the irrelevant code from the code snip. First, RecordScan locates the patch affected statements, line 12 and line 13. This is because the newly introduced constraints from the patch will affect the execution of these two lines. Second, within the lines affected by the patch modification, RecordScan can future locate the PHP built in sinks, read file. Third, RecordScan conducts a data flow backward analysis on the sync parameter final zip to locate the source file get file name. The, sim the same procedure is also applied to another source, the variable globals OE site DR. Finally, based on the source and the sync, RecordScan can, can obtain the vulnerable data flow statements as well as the control flow statement newly introduced by the patch. Based on this simple, simplified code, RecordScan not only performs forward symbolic tracking on the vulnerable code snip to generate the data flow expression, but also extracts the control flow constraint newly introduced by the patch as safe constraints. 
after normalization, RIC scan can obtain the vulnerability signature. Finally, we will show how RIC scan uses the generated vulnerability signature to detect the recurring vulnerabilities on the target application. <coughs> In the latest version, RIC scan can discover data flow expressions that are same with the vulnerability signature. But because there is a safe control flow constraint in this code snip, which is present in the vulnerability signatures, RIC-SCAN will not report it as a vulnerability. However, before version 4.1.0 of this application, this constraint did not exist, so RIC-SCAN would, would re report a vulnerability in this version. In the evaluation part, we set uh, three questions, research questions to evaluate the ability of RIC-SCAN. The first question is that how effective is RIC scan in detecting recurring vulnerabilities in real world applications? The second question is that how accurate is RIC scan compared to the state of the art approach? The last question is that how efficient is RIC scan in performing the end to end analysis? To answer the above three questions, we require a known vulnerability dataset to serve as input. Therefore, we collect the known vulnerabilities in the NVD according to three requirements. First, the vulnerability should occur in PHP web applications. Second, the affected applications should have a certain level of popularity, defined as having more than 100 stars on GitHub. Third, the vulnerabilities should have publicly available security patches. As a result, we have collected a total of 184 known vulnerabilities and their security patches, covering six common types. Based on this, Rikus can generate a total of 249 vulnerable data flow expressions and extracted 27 safe control flow constraints. To answer the first question, RecordScan used the generated vulnerability signatures to detect the recurring vulnerabilities in 200 popular PHP web applications. As a result, RecordScan reports 251 potential vulnerabilities. After manual inspection, a total of 232 non-known vulnerabilities were confirmed, including ChSS circle injection and arbitrary file manipulation. This vulnerabilities could lead to DOS attacks, privacy leakage, and even remote code execution. After reporting to the developers, we were assigned 174 CVE identifiers. To answer the second question, we compared the, effect, the effect, effectiveness of RIC scan with hidden CPG, the state-of-the-art approach for detecting recurring vulnerabilities in PHP web applications. However, comparing the accuracy of each work requires a comprehensive evaluation of all vulnerabilities within the testing set, which is unfeasible. Therefore, to ensure a file comparison, we, con we construct a ground truth by aggregating all vulnerabilities detected by both RecScan and Hidden CPG in our testing site. Each vulnerability involved in the ground truth was confirmed by security experts. To ensure fairness, during this process, both hidden CBG and RIC scan applied to the same testing site using the same known vulnerability data site. As a result, RIC scan outperformed the hidden CBG and by 25% in precision and 87% in recall. It is not worthy that RIC scan successfully found all the vulnerabilities that hidden CBG detected. Therefore, the recall is 100%. To answer the third question, we recorded the runtime of both hidden CBG and RIC scan across the whole data site. In terms of generating vulnerability signatures, RIC scan took a total of 49 hours with an average time of 0.25 hours per patch. However, hidden CBG relies on manual analysis in this process. In terms of vulnerability detection, hidden CBG is more efficient than RIC scan. Considering that the vulnerability detection is typically an offline task, we believe a stronger capability in vulnerability detection is more favorable. In conclusion, we have made three contributions in this paper. First, we propose a novel approach to detect the recurring vulnerabilities that can better tolerate code difference. Second, we evaluate our approach in 200 popular PHP web applications, effectively helping the open source community to address some vulnerability risks. Third, we have released the source code of the RecScan prototype and our data site at our lab's repo. For more detailed information, welcome to read our paper. That's all. Thank you.